Hello and welcome to doing three-way analysis variance using SAS. And just as a heads up, we are running up against um, the limits of what I'm supposed to teach you in this course. Um, at the end of this, you will have questions such as, well, what if I want to test con this contrast over here? And the answer is, well, if you can figure out how to write it as a contrast, you can get it into SAS. But um, it's r that stuff is really for another class, which is called experimental design. And once you complete this class, you'll be very much prepared for that class. And I strongly suggest that if you're going to do any experimentation. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we're going to be using the flower data. Um, N, P, and K, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. Those are the three, um, three nutrients. Height is the height of the flower. And that's it. Let's go ahead and make sure that we got it in there right. And by we, I mean when I give you these procs, and when I give you these summaries, you will probably want to check your own. So here we are. This is the overall for all of them. Sample size of 16. Uh, for N, P, and for K, the mean is going to be 7.5. So double check those. For the heights, the mean's going to be 46.25. If you'd like, you can break that down by group. So if you want to see the, the averages for each of the two ends, so the average height when n is 10 is 56.875 and the average height when n is 5 is 35.625 again you'll want to double check and you can change that to p as well the average height when p is 10 is 54.25 and when p is 5 it's 38.25 and you can do it with potassium Average height when potassium is 10 is 56.5. Average height when potassium is 5 is 36. So double check that your summary statistics match mine. That's a good indication that you got the data in there correctly. So beyond that, don't care. Uh, so proc GLM data equals flower. Nothing new there. Here's the big difference. When we were doing one-way analysis of variance, in doing that analysis, we only had one class. In two-way, we had two classes. Now when we do three-way, we're going to need N, P, and K. Yeah, I'm sorry, that's about as exciting as I could make it. Um, and then the model. In the spelled correctly. In the one-way, the model was just the um, height the dependent variable equal to the one and only independent variable. When we did two-way, there were two, so we added the two independent variables and their interaction. So what are we going to do with three? They can be in any order, by the way. Boom. And that's it. Here's the results. So we have three, three categorical variables, n, p, and k. Each has two levels. Each level is 5 and 10. Capital N, the, the sample size for the entire experiment is 16. Here's the model table. So as we know now, this is the sum of squared cells. And the mean squared cell, so this is a test of the model, whether or not there is any variation within the cells above and beyond what we would expect from randomness. P-value is less than alpha, so we reject that null hypothesis that there's only randomness. And then we've got the type 3. And looking at these, these are the three, sor these are the three level sources. These are the three two-way interactions. And here's your three-way interaction. And these are the um, type 3 sums of squares. 
the f values and the p values. So nothing very s exciting here, just an extension of what we've done in the past already. Now the big thing is the contrasts. And as I mentioned before, we are to the point where we're running up against what I'm allowed to teach you. OK, we're able to type, I guess. Um, but we can do some simple contrasts here. So perhaps we want to estimate the effect of nitrogen on the flower height. That is, looking at nitrogen level of 5 versus that of 10. So again, the contrasts have the same format. Keyword is contrast. Then in single quotation marks, what you want to call the contrast itself. And then here, since we're only comparing nitrogens, we're only going to use the n variable. If I can figure out how to work my keyboard again. OK. And then what are the levels? Well, I don't really know what the levels are. To figure out what those levels are, I'm going to do slash e up here. And I don't want to run this contrast line yet, since it'll give me an error. So here are the e. These are the general form of the estimable functions. So now we can look here. So on the n level, we want to do 5 versus 10. We probably want 10 to be the larger. So there's the contrast. And this will be nitrogen 10 minus nitrogen 5. So we'll look at how much increasing the nitrogen also increases the height. Oh, wait, this was a contrast. This won't tell us how much it increases. It'll just tell us whether or not it does. How do we get it to tell us how much? Right, estimate. And now we know that nitrogen increases at 21.25, I'm assuming inches, when you go from 5 to 10. And we can do the same thing with the other nutrients. said nitrogen, potassium. Hopefully that's how you spell potassium. As a former chemistry teacher, I really hope that's how it's spelled. Uh, phosphorus. Because the way we have these things set up, this will be the three estimator, estimate statements. So increasing the um, nutrient will also increase, on average, the height of the plant. It seems as though nitrogen just does the best. Um, potassium does the worst, um, which actually gives strength to the, to the saying uh, when trying to keep track of which of these nutrients you want to add to your plants, uh, up, down, all around. Nitrogen helps with the top, potassium helps with the roots, and phosphorus helps with the overall plant health. But it seems like here, even uh, potassium helps with the plant height, which could be due to the fact that the potassium is helping the roots, and the roots are able to pull in more nutrients, more nitrogen, to make the plant taller. And these are all our these are t-values, these are the p-values, all of them statistically significant. Now, if you were to take the experimental design course, you'd find out ways of testing things such as, which does a better job of increasing the height of the plant, the nitrogen or the phosphorus? You'd be able to test that by creating a, a contrast um, that actually reflects that statement. However, that's beyond the scope of this course, unfortunately. I, I say unfortunately because it's a really interesting question that we could answer. But creating those contrast statements or the estimate statements in SAS is a little bit more complicated than we want to do at this level. So really, we're done. This is it. Um, this is three-way analysis of variance. Um, and this is the end of fixed effects. Um, so from here on out, we're going to look at random effects and models with random effects and models with both random and fixed effects. Um, so hopefully this was fun. Take care.